aircraft just does things that a large aircraft of that size and weight should not be able to do. That angle of climb is about 25 degrees per minute. Absolutely unbelievable. The aircraft was named that was in a ceremony here at Fairford just before the 2012 Royal International Air Pursuit. And the first delivery of what's known as the Atlas C1 in RAF service was made to the base at RAF Prize North, not far from here, in November 2014. And Prize marked a base that's undergone a huge amount of change in recent years. Yeah, absolutely. It's now an absolute world class AC hub in the Royal Air Force in the UK. Uh, with uh, 24, 30, and 47 squadron, and it's operating in the UK. Okay. Obviously this one is an entry version and uh, 99 squadron with the uh, C-17. Uh, we've then got the Voyager, operated by 101 and number 10 squadron. Project Future Prize, uh, from the fruition with 3,500 people going into that main cave on a daily basis. First delivery of a production A-400 was the French Air Force in 2013 and the Turkish Air Force and the RAF. having a, a strong test fleet of these aircraft from which this one, MSN-6, comes. Last November they achieved grass runway certification, enabling the Titan to operate from those surfaces. And later this year they'll certify the aircraft to fly from sand runways. They've already done likewise from gravel. And in fact I signed off the gravel clearance about two weeks ago. Ah, very good. So yes. the RAF can now fly its atlases from those surfaces? From gravel surfaces, absolutely, yeah. The sort of operational loads these aircraft could carry, for example, a, a single Cougar or Super Puma helicopter or an NH-90, it could take a couple of Lynx or Wildcats, a couple of Apaches or Eurocopter Tigers, now Airbus helicopters and Tigers, I should say. The aircraft is also capable of air-to-air -air refueling if customers so desire everything from helicopters to other large aircraft and fighters. And one of the things we see shown here is how this aircraft fly-by-wire controls given a very wide flight envelope, up to 120 degrees in roll, no limits in pitch, and the aircraft has a roll rate of some 35 degrees per second. And that 120 degree angle of bank in roll is something we should see demonstrated if the cloud base allows after the high speed pass which is coming up shortly. And there it goes, pitching up, and we should see an impressive wing over at the top of the climb. Very nice, adjusted to cloud at the top. Wow, there should be some good photos of that. Uh, the aircraft ultimately capable of 410 knots at uh, 40,000 feet. Um, quite a fast aircraft given the size and the fact that it is nevertheless a thermal from aircraft. Earlier this year, and so this display is dedicated to him, Fred Strongman then, into land, the Airbus Defence and Space A400M, the Atlas. Yeah. 